Let's chat with the man who just dropped a notch on the all-time career scoring list. Shaquille O'Neal is with us now. And Shaq, you knew this day was coming. What was your uh, reaction when you learned Kobe had finally passed you? Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate Kobe and his family. You know, he's always been a great player. Uh, I can remember when uh, me, him, and Derek Fisher walked into the first day of practice. And, you know, Kobe was was sitting there practicing and, you know, shooting the ball by himself. And he told everybody that he wanted to be the uh, greatest Laker ever. And I'll be the first to say that he is the greatest Laker ever. He has a lot of uh, great accomplishments, a lot of championships, passed up the great Jerry West, passed up Magic, shot the ball more times than Kareem, and he passed me up. So congratulations to Kobe Bryant and his family. Well, Shaq, has been so much made about you guys' uh, relationship, but you've always ha had a way of pushing buttons, getting guys to play hard. Talk about that. Well, you know what, uh, D, uh, when I first came to Orlando, I can remember when you picked me up and you said, uh, big, big man, even though you're a rookie, you're our leader. We go as far as you go. So, you know, uh, in Orlando, I had a lot of trials and tribulations, but you know, in Orlando, I, you know, I jumped on you, you jumped on me, I jumped on Nick, we jumped on Scouts, and that's what great leaders do. You know, uh, the great John Wooden said, the true definition of a great player is a player that makes his other players better. And, you know, I knew that, uh, you know, Kobe is a fierce guy, a fierce competitor. So at times, you, you know, because he, I knew that if I made him mad, he was going to play out of this world. And, but, you know, he also knew that if he made me mad, that I was going to play out of this world. So that's why I tweeted earlier, we, we are the greatest Laker one-two punch ever created. There will never, ever be a, a one-two punch more controversial, more entertaining, and more dominant than Kobe Bryant and myself. So, again, congratulations to Kobe Bryant and his family. It's a great accomplishment, and uh, keep shooting. Well, he's going to do that, Shaq. Um, <laughs> I, you know, your humility in this is uh, is pretty impressive. I mean, there's no doubt. There's a process for every great player to get where he gets. And you don't do it along the way without the help of great players like yourself, Shaq. I want to ask you, will Kobe pass Michael Jordan? I just want to ask you. He's about 3,700 points away or so. Do you think he's going to get to MJ? Well, uh, you know, uh, he probably has four or five years left, so, you know, uh, I don't have my uh, shackulator in front of me, but <laughs> probably going to average, you know, 25 uh, or more points per season. So he may uh, 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 pass Michael Jordan. Uh, he may pass Will Chamberlain. Uh, I'm jealous of Kobe in the sense that uh, his injury bug is, is, is a much bigger bug than mine. You know, if you look at his career, he never really had a season where he had to miss six to eight weeks because of injury. I think the most he missed uh, because of injury was two weeks. I missed uh, – I missed 250 games at averaging 25 points a game. I did the math earlier. That's a, another 5,000 points. So uh, if I would have did that, and if your father would have taught me how to shoot free throws the correct way, <laughs> I wouldn't have missed 5,000. I probably would have only missed 3,000. Uh, the only thing that you, you know that uh, I'm, I'm kind of upset in my career is that I missed all those games due to injury, and I missed a lot of free throws. Uh, so if I didn't have that, I probably would have – put a, a, a past my idol of Will Chamberlain. But, uh, you know, I see the here and all there. Like I said earlier, congratulations to Kobe Bryant. And as long as I pass up all my other idols, Akeem and Patrick Ewan and all those guys, uh, I think I did a great job. But, you know, like I said, he's the greatest Laker ever. He told me that when he was 18 years old, and uh, I believed him. And I pushed his buttons, and, I, you know, I upset him at times. But, you know, uh, it made us, you know, play to the point – to where we were able to win three out of four championships. And that's all I was trying to do. And, and you know, that's what all great leaders do.